Okay, so we are back. Haven't done one of these actual videos in a long time. Actually doing this because we hit 250 subscribers. Thank you guys for doing that. If you're listening to this, hit that subscribe button. We're on the way to 500. But we have to talk about this Bucks Heat stunner last night. I mean, Cam, just initial reactions. I'll start off with you and then we'll actually talk and break down a little bit of the game. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy Butler is a Hall of Famer, number one. A lot of people are going to look back at his game and it's not going to be remembered the way it is. Some players are perceived worse off by history. And I think he's going to be one of them just because of his lack of credentials. But those of us who witnessed him in the playoffs, I've never seen a player elevate his game like that. I know it hurts Giannis's legacy to lose this game, but those are some of my initial things. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because when you look back in 10 years, right, and you look back at some of the series and you're seeing Dirk Nowitzki, the We Believe Warriors, they beat the one through eight, and you're saying, that's a historic, that's an iconic series. What we are witnessing, what we witnessed last night, we'll be looking back on in 10 years and saying, wow, that really happened. Jimmy Butler, in real time, as we're watching it, is making his Hall of Fame case, like you said. But I want to kind of talk about, you know, how this happened cam we always talked about first half money lines have been great for us in recent you know because the full game it may not be hitting first halves have been hitting smoothly talk me about that first half bet and then just a little bit about what we've seen this series yeah another thing i think eric spolstra might be the best coach in the nba whatever pieces they put around him whatever it doesn't really matter he finds a way he finds gems obviously we know how there's six we know the Miami Heat success with undrafted free agents but I think it comes down to Eric Spolster I know Popovich is a great coach obviously but especially against Giannis I mean this is not their first playoff series against him I have never seen another defense even with totally not the personnel they lost Kevin Love before overtime like they almost in foul trouble as well it doesn't really matter they find a way to build a wall to contain Giannis I mean make him go to the free throw line and beat you that way and he, he just didn't so i mean i think spolster deserves a lot of credit for this win as well yes credit for the defense but also on the offensive side of the ball now spolster made a huge huge adjustment in the fourth quarter and what he did was he made bam the primary ball handler which means that brooke lopez now has to guard bam on the perimeter taking brooke out of the paint and then after that he put Giannis on kevin love or kevin love is spacing the floor, making sure that Giannis is not in the paint. So now you have Brooke Lopez and Giannis on the perimeter, and Jimmy's making these cuts. Jimmy's catching it in the paint with only Drew Holiday on him. Just a great, great adjustment. Can we talk a little bit about the Giannis legacy stain, if there is one? I mean, he's the best player in basketball. It was undisputed going into this series, and now they just got shut out in five. What are your reactions to Giannis after this series? I mean, Giannis did have 38 and 20, but if not for all the missed free throws, we would have seen a 50 and 20 game from Giannis. So, and I mean, that did cost them the win at the end of the day. Uh, I think he shot like 10 of 23, 20, 10 of 25, something like that from the free throw line. That's 15, 12 points you left on the floor when they lost by three, four. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, like Spolster knew that and they schemed the defense to make Giannis. I don't think it's a huge stand on his legacy. I think uh, Budenholzer is definitely going to get fired after this year. I mean, not making any adjustments, letting Butler continue to cook in single coverage, I think was a main problem. I mean, Drew Holiday is an elite defender, but I mean, not against Jimmy Butler, apparently. Yeah, it's crazy. Jimmy was looking at Drew Holiday and saying, I own you, you can't guard me, which we never see anyone ever do to Drew Holiday. He was the consensus pick for the anonymous NBA poll for the best defender in the league. And Jimmy Butler's giving him Giannis and Brooke Lopez, three defensive player of the year candidates. He's giving them 40 in every game and he's letting them know about it too. Cam, we lost a lot of money on Bucks in game five, right? So it's good to see like, you know, the karma come back and get him, I guess. But wow, any last thoughts on this series? Looking forward to Heat Knicks. Yeah, I mean, definitely Heat Knicks is going to be a great series. But I mean, I don't, Drew Holiday, you got you to get back in the lab, my boy. I mean, Jimmy Butler put 90 plus points on you in two games. And a lot of those are in single ISO coverage. I mean, obviously, they're setting screens to try to get Jimmy the ball. We know that. But you you know that as well. And there's still no adjustments by them. I mean, continuing to let somebody – I would if I'm them, I'm tripling him from the start of the game. Every single time, make some, make Max Strews try to beat you, make Gabe Vincent try to beat you, because I don't think they can beat that Bucks team. And that was the Bucks were one of the best three point shooting teams in the league this year before the playoffs, and we just didn't see that against the Heat. I think the Heat outshot them in almost every game.
Yeah, last thing before we get out of here, we're seeing Jimmy have to go and pull into his late heroics bag in all these games just to win. Now, Cam, you hit a great parlay basically saying the only way the Heat are going to win this game is if Jimmy hits his over on every single prop, and it hit for you. It was beautiful. I just want to say the Heat organization, give this guy another star, another running mate, because if he gets a Dame, if he gets someone of that caliber, then we're really talking about no upsets, not an upset, but this team can easily make their way to the finals and contend with the Celtics and the Sixers and the Bucks who they just beat. Would you take a big three trio of Damian Lillard, Jimmy Butler, and Bam over Harden, Embiid, and either Maxi or Tobias, whichever one you uh, think? Every day of the week. You take the heat every time. Every day of the week. And I think durability kind of goes into it too. With Embiid, he's been pretty healthy this season, but – I mean, I, I like you said in one of those TikTok videos we had, follow us on TikTok too, I don't see a center being the main cog in a championship winning team. I can see someone like a two-way wing like Jimmy Butler doing it, pair him with Dane, spacing the floor, giving him even more space to go and operate with Bam there, kind of acting as that Swiss Army Knife center. I definitely see it. Uh, we'll do another reaction to Warriors Kings and Cavs Knicks when those series are over a little farther down the line. But until then, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We will catch you guys for the next video. Peace.